<laughs> well, the, the first question I have has to do with the title because you came up with the title. I said, let's talk about something about Sacred World. And then immediately you, you email me back and you said, how about confidence in the grace of openness? And I'm like, I'm all in. <laughs> I'm all in. I thought that was the most beautiful, beautifully phrased uh, title. And um, it goes so well with Sacred World and Prajnaparamita. So first of all, I mean, the word confidence is such a strong and appealing word. But can you tell me why this title came to you and <laughs> why that's important to you? Well, you know, this was very inspired by, by my study of logic of faith, which... Oh. which in which you introduce the whole notion of grace, which I thought was absolutely brilliant because when we speak about the Prajna Paramita, when we speak about emptiness, you know, this is about opening up and this is about us being no longer sort of caught within our projections and much more present within our reality and in awe of reality. And, you know, you brought in, you know, some examples like Neil Armstrong looking at, you know, the blue planet and all of that. <laughs> and just sort of the, the marveling at the at reality, which ha takes place spontaneously when we begin to get out, out of our heads, when we begin to get out of our thoughts. And you could say so much of what really takes place in the modern, you could say materialist outlook, is that in fact, we're operating with some very abstract assumptions about physicality, which are actually, and this is where we, we come with our Buddhist, you could say, analysis and say, well, actually, that assumption about materiality is not founded. It's not justified. And that's where we realize it's only an abstraction that really constructs the so-called physical reality. So anyway, in that openness, something wonderful takes place. And it's very often that you have, you could say, a gap between the Mahayana discourse of deconstruction and uh, rational analysis, and then the bhakti and the, the language of, of Vajrayana, which is very much about something deeply personal and intimate, which is all about the, the openness and the humility and the beauty of the communication with a teacher in which something extraordinary takes place. And that's where I thought your term, uh, um, uh, grace, was so apt and of course what we what we mean with with you know your open question and the idea of emptiness is not that we're going to be lost in a nothingness but in which we actually find, find you know we become at ease actually there's nothing to lose there's nothing to gain there is a profound unconditional quality 